Hey, hey, this is Julian and you're on Hit The Blocks. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your DAP project to work with Truffle and React. So Truffle is going to be responsible for the smart contract and React will be for the front end of our decentralized application. So for each of these framework, they have their own folder structure and we're going to see how we can combine them in the same project. This is actually part of a series on how to integrate React with your DAP. So if you want to see the full playlist, you'll find the link in the description. All right, so let's start the coding. So this is my terminal and let's say that I want to create my decentralized application in this folder. So what is the first step? The first step is to initialize a truffle project. So I'm going to do this with the truffle init command. And by the way, that means that you are supposed to have installed truffle already with the npm install global truffle command. So I'm going to use the truffle CLI and initialize a project like this. And it's going to initialize my project just for the smart contract part. So once I have this, then if I check the file in my project, then I have all the, the folder structure of a Truffle project. So all my smart contracts are supposed to be inside the contracts directory. Then I have my migration file in the migration folder to deploy my smart contract to the blockchain. And I have my configuration file. So that's truffle config.js. Okay, so this is good for the smart contract, but we also want to integrate the front end to this. So we're going to start a React project and instead of configuring everything by ourselves, we're going to use the CLI create React app that allow you to create a pre-configured React app with the best standard. So if you don't have this install on your computer, you can install it really easily with npm install global global create react app and once you have this then you can create a new react project very easily like this and you give the name of your project so we're going to put everything in a folder called client so we're going to call our project client all right so this is created so now create react app utility show me how to start my front end with this command yarn start etc etc actually you can also use npm so here instead of yarn start you can use npm start so if you go inside your client folder then you will see a typical folder layout for a react project and all your JavaScript file for the front end are inside the SRC directories. For example, if I open app.js, that's the main file. So if I change something here, it's going to show in the front end. So how to connect this front end with our smart contract. So when you are going to deploy your smart contract to the blockchain, Truffle is going to create a JSON file that has the address of the deployed contract. And this JSON file will also have what we call the contract ABI. So that's a description of the function interface of your smart contract. And so you will need these two things in order to interact with the smart contract, its address and its ABI. So we need to import this JSON document inside our front end. So where is this JSON document? Let's try to deploy our smart contract and see what happens. So truffle migrate all right and it has written to a build directory subfolder contracts and inside is you can see this json file here so currently we don't have any smart contract that we created ourselves migration dot uh, migration dot soul is a smart contract created by truffle but when you will have your own smart contract then you will see its json file appearing here so we have to import this JSON file in our front end. So if I come back to app.js, what I could do is import, then I go back one directory, then I go inside the build folder contracts, and then I'm going to import the JSON file for my contract. So if my smart contract is called my contract, then it's going to be my contract.json. Oh, and we have to give it a name. So I'm going to call this my contract. And then by using our JSON document, we'll be able to instantiate a Web3 contract instance and interact with our smart contract. 
The problem is the way our React application is configured with the create React utility. It does not allow to import any file outside the SRC directory. Oop, by the way, I forgot one level up here. Yeah, so if we try to do this, then create React app is not going to be happy. So fortunately, with Truffle, we can customize where we put this JSON document. And in order to do this, we can use the configuration file of Truffle. So let me go back to the other terminal. So here you can open up truffle-config.js. And here you'll find a lot of command that explain you how you can configure your project. So if you want to configure where to save the JSON document with all the info about each smart contract, then you can add a contracts directory entry. And after you give it the path relative to the root of the project. So in our case, it's going to be client src contracts. And once you have this and you deploy your smart contract, then you can go back to your front end. And this time you'll be able to import your JSON document here by going in the, in the contracts folder. But this time it will be inside the SRC directory. So it will be possible to import it. OK, so after you've imported this JSON document and after you do your instantiation of Web3, so instantiate Web3 plus contract instance. So how do you start the whole thing? Well, the way it will work is you will need to first. You will start your local blockchain with truffle develop, then you deploy your smart contract with migrate reset. Then in another terminal window inside the client folder, you will start the front end with npm start and then it's going to take you to the front end and your browser you can go to local host column 3000 and you will see your front end so all of this is cool but we had to do quite a bit of work so wouldn't it be nice if we could start from the beginning from a ready to use react dap project well my friend this is possible thanks to truffle boxes so truffle boxes are ready to use skeleton for your dap project with truffle so you can see a list of all the truffle boxes at this address and the one i'm going to show you is the react truffle box so i'm going to go inside another folder so truffle box and i'm going to use the truffle unbox command unbox then I give the name of the box. So that's the React box. I press enter and it's going to install everything. So once this is done, then if you look at your project, you will recognize the folder layout of Truffle. So you have your contracts folder with your smart contract, your migration inside the migration folder. And you also have your front end inside the client directory. So this is a React project created with create React app utility. So if you want to run it, you will need to install the dependencies with npm install. And after you can start it with npm start. And when you deploy your smart contract with Truffle, it's going to put the JSON file with all the info about the smart contract in a contracts folder inside the SRC directory. You can actually see the configuration of all of this in Truffle config. So here you can see contracts build directory and it points to client SRC contracts. By the way, if you want to learn how you can become a blockchain developer and get your first blockchain job, I give all my secret in a small short training that you can access at this address. All right, so back to our project. So that's pretty much it for Truffle Unbox React. And now you know everything about how to set up your decentralized application with Truffle and React. So in the next video, I'm going to show you in the front end of your React app how you can connect to your smart contract. And we're going to use the old API of React to get started. So with the lifecycle method like component did mount, etc. If you have any question about how to integrate React with your DAP, then you can ask in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you for my next video.